So when we can change our attitude that way, then we can actually do something about our grief. Or like our anger, what good does anger do? Every time you get angry at your partner, they don't do what you want them to do, they don't get better, they usually get worse. <coughs> so why get angry and shout at them for? It just doesn't solve the problem and doesn't actually fulfill its promises. I just was it uh, in January, just when I was going off to Indonesia to give a series of talks, I got to Perth airport and find the Garuda flight was cancelled. It was actually delayed by about 18 hours. And I, I was a monk. So I just went up to the counter and said, oh, is it delayed? When is it going to leave? 18 hours. Okay, thank you very much. And I sort of uh, called the monastery and got to live back to the monastery. But the people behind me, they were thumping the counter. You can't do this to us. I've got all of these arrangements and plans. I had arrangements and plans as well. There are thousands of people waiting to listen to my talks. But I couldn't do anything about it. And you know that all that anger and all that thumping and all that shouting it didn't make the plane leave earlier. <laughs> it didn't do anything good at all, it's just except, except making people upset. Themselves upset and other people's upset. So really just what is the use of anger? You can intimidate somebody for a short time, but they'll always want revenge and they won't respect you. And if you're a boss, they'll only do what you want. They'll only do what you want, only for a time being only because you're there. They won't sort of do what you ask them out of respect, just out of fear. And that's no way to have any sort of relationship or any sort of business. You know, really, anger doesn't make any sense to me.